Angela Rex, 6th through 8th grade strings, Bryson Middle School. We'll do things, for instance, if we're working on a piece maybe in 7th or 8th grade or even in the 6th grade that's very challenging to get in tune. And I have a Beanie Baby skunk that I use and he's stinky, his name is Stinky, and he smells notes that are out of tune. I'll take the skunk and just walk over and just gently lay it on their stand. Not call them out, not make them feel embarrassed that they're out of tune. And then they kind of realize, oh yeah, I haven't quite focused in on that pitch yet. And it's fun because I don't have to say you're out of tune or you're out of tune and call students out. Just using those simple gimmicks can work. After a few weeks of learning things together, they really work as a team. And we're working on learning Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and they learn that first little part or we put the bow on the string for the first time and they all turn to each other and go, wow, we learned how to do it. And so instantly they've become a family. Amanda Powell, fifth grade, Duncan Chapel Elementary. I believe it's very important for children to interact on a daily basis um, for several reasons. One is the kids need it for their social development. It's very important that they have positive interaction. Also, I need it. I love watching my kids interact, especially when they don't know that I'm watching. I learn so much about them, whether it's during inside recess when they're playing a game and I listen to them, or whether it's during a group activity. Fifth grade is a very pivotal year. They are learning about themselves. They are be, they're changing. They're coming across challenges that are new to them. I need to be able to sit back and observe and listen to them and help them get through these times and find out who they are so they can be independent learners and lifelong learners. Sandy Brooks, English, Wade Hampton High School. Today's technology allows teachers to take learning beyond the classroom with interactive boards and mobile computer labs we are able to do so much more than just lecture. And I try to use technology in my classroom as much as possible. I've taken students on virtual tours of the Globe Theater when we've studied Shakespeare. And I have shown them the original text of Beowulf when we've studied the Anglo-Saxon period. I have been able to use a combination of the Promethean Board and the mobile lab to teach research and the students can use the laptops at their desk and navigate sites while I use the Promethean board and demonstrate for them. Tanya Poole, fifth grade, Summit Drive Elementary School. I try to empower each one of my students to really take ownership in their own education and to realize that they are a stakeholder. One of the first things we do at the beginning of the year is utilize one of the quality tools strategies of creating a class mission statement and giving us a sense of a common purpose for being in school. The next thing I do is I give each student their own personal data from previous years and by analyzing it with my help they're able to see trends in their own personal career as well as um, we have discussions of, of trends that I see as a class and I often in class relate it to sports. You know, when you're not doing well with your pitches or your strokes and swimming, what do you do? They say practice more. I want them to see the connection between their effort and the outcome.